everyone, so I'm just going to do a video on what I feel are my essential, uh, the essential brushes that you, I think you should have in your makeup collection. So I know I have done reviews on Sigma brushes before in the past and also did a few videos on my like makeup beginner's guide to brushes and that sort of thing, but I felt I would just do a separate video addressing um, what I feel are the brushes that you I think you should have in your collection. So I'm going to start off with eye brushes and also face brushes. Now you don't have to own all these brushes but I feel uh, you can have the most expensive products, the most amazing products, but if you don't have the right brushes the application won't look as good and you feel like you've wasted a lot of money on these products. So I feel that you do have to have good brushes. You don't necessarily have to have expensive high-end brushes but good enough brushes to give you the good results. So as you know from my tutorials I mainly use Sigma brushes just because I feel that they're as just as good as any other high-end brushes. I've not had any problems with them. I've always, I've literally stood by them and I will continue to stand by them. So, um, yeah, I always tend to reach for them. I do have a few other brands like e.l.f. and um, Real Techniques. So, but I will just mention the Sigma ones because you can definitely find dupes of the Sigma brushes and they're also dupes of the MAC brushes they are seen as alternatives for the MAC brushes. The first brush which I think is quite an essential brush to have is an eyeshadow brush and this looks like this. It's a basic flat type brush and this is the, like I said, the eye shading brush. This is the E55 by Sigma. This brush is essential if you're wanting to apply eyeshadow to your lid. So if you want to basically pack on the colour onto your lid, I would go for this brush because of the way it's shaped, it can definitely pick up colour really well and it places it right on your lid and definitely distributes the colour. So this this comes in all different brands, you don't have to get the Sigma one, but this is a very universal type brush and the way it's shaped as well. So it's very very ideal for packing an eyeshadow to your lid. The next brush I think is also quite handy for eyeshadows is the large shader brush, which looks like this, is just basically the bigger version of the eye shading brush. I'll just show you those two side by side. As you can see, the ad, the large shading brush is a lot wider. This is for if you don't want to have so much um, colour on your lid. This definitely sort of spreads it out a bit more, so it's not as concentrated, if that makes sense. So I would use this if I don't want, I just want a, a bit of a wash of colour to my lid. And um, this is also good for cream products as well. Um, but I mainly use this for like my eyeshadows and like also for my highlight. Brushes as well are not only made for one purpose. They're multifunctional, which is really good. So you don't really have to have so many brushes because some of the brushes can be used for a, mo you know, a number of things. The next one, which I think is very, 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 very essential, is a blending brush. And that looks like this. This is the Sigma tapered blending brush you need to get a brush like this this brush is also multifunctional um, it's supposed to be for blending you need to your crease but I find for me it is a bit too big for my lid space a bit too big for, too big for my lid space um, so I use this to apply my concealer because this actually blends the concealer a lot a lot better um, than any other brush I feel anyway it's just it, it's so much better to use this than an actual concealer brush but everyone is different in what they choose to use but for me this has always worked really really well and it just basically blends it out flawlessly so this is an essential brush if you have a big lid space I would definitely say get this for blending out but I do have other brushes I use for blending in my crease the next brush is the pencil brush which looks like this it's basically shaped um, like this sorry if the brushes are uh, are quite dirty I obviously used it this morning this is the E30 pencil brush by Sigma this is obviously used I use this to apply my inner tear ducts so you know the little bit the corner of my eye there just to add a small bit of color sometimes it's some people use this to also add to the crease to um, blend out the crease but I use this to apply color to my inner tear ducts and this is so precise the fact that it's pit the fact that it's penciled like sort of tapered like this it's a lot easier to just be a lot more precise than using a flat brush so this is what I use for applying my inner tear ducts also if some people or if you want to apply um, liquid or gel liner 
most likely gel liner it's nice to have an angled brush and this is the small angle brush also by Sigma this is the E65 this can be used for um, applying gel liner or eyeliner to, to your top lash line also can be used for um, defining your eyebrows if you're drawing your eyebrows in or you're filling them in um, I use this for um, my gel liner so this is very precise the fact that it's very it's angled and it's just flat like that it's so much easier to to be more precise when you're drawing when you're um applying your gel liner there's also another brush which is like the which is actually supposed to be the eyeliner brush mine is quite dirty actually it's basically um like that it's a lot more like thinner and it's a lot easier to use a gel liner but for some people who might, who might not be very skilled with applying gel liner would probably use this because this is a lot easier to control so that will be used either for your eyebrows or for gel liner the next one which I think is actually quite a good um, not too not so much essential but I think this would be a good brush to have it really helps for like smudging eye like smudging your eyeshadow this is the small the short shaded brush sorry this is the E20 as you can see it's very very small very thin compared to the eyeshadow brush you can see the eyeshadow brush is a lot bigger this is a lot more smaller so this is the easier to actually get into you know the bottom lash line and smudging out say your um, eyeliner or smudging out some color some people also use this for the crease as well for more precise crease or for like a cut crease this is such for me I think this is very very handy if you want to get a smudge line but also a precise smudge line if that makes sense so I would definitely go for something like this that's very short and very small and it's a lot precise to definitely fit into the bottom um, lash line and just basically drag the color along so now if you can't get these um, Sigma brushes this would be an alternative for the blending brush this is what I use to actually blend my color this is the blending eye brush by elf looks like that it's just round and sort of dome shape this is perfect absolutely perfect for um, applying color to my crease and blending it out as well because it's also quite fluffy it helps to distribute the color and actually blend it out this is only like a pound 50 so I mean obviously it's a slightly bit a lot cheaper than Sigma brushes and a lot cheaper than, than the matte brushes so if you don't want to spend so much on the matte um, the Sigma or matte brushes definitely get this brush this is perfect you have to have this definitely you have to have this I mean the elf um, I, th I think the, the, the basic line the elf basic line or the $1.50 line um, in the US um, is like they actually do quite good brushes the only thing is that some of the brushes do tend to break the ferrule and the, the um, handle do, do tend to come off so you have to be very careful but they are definitely worth getting in terms of how they actually work because you feel that you think that you know the cheaper some items are the less um, the less effective or the less um, quality it is but mo in most cases they are actually still quite good products so I would definitely definitely recommend the blending eye brush from elf as a blending eye brush so now onto face brushes you have your obviously you have your powder brush which you need to apply your powder with you need a very good wide dome brush obviously mine is dirty because I used it this morning this is the the large powder brush the F30 by Sigma as you can see it's really wide and fluffy and it just really helps to you know to apply your powder or to apply loose powder I definitely have to have this I have a few of this because I feel that this is such a good staple brush to have in your collection obviously like I said it's for applying powder um, to you know to larger areas of your face um, I wouldn't use this for blush because it's just too big it would be just it would fit a bit too big and to the face so this is a definitely a brush you have to have now when it comes to foundation brushes a lot of people use different brushes um, I have a few of the different types of brushes you can use for foundation this brush is probably one of the most popular ones this is the duo fiber brush um, this is good for liquid foundation but um, I used to use this but I find that this can be quite streaky if not apply very well you can also basically stipple in the color as well it's very good for that but I don't tend to reach for this brush that much anymore 
um, but for beginners, um, definitely for liquid foundation, this is a good brush to have. Or, this is the one I use now, this is the e.l.f. powder brush, as you can see it's dirty as well. This is like the best brush I've ever used for foundation, ever. And you would think because it's from e.l.f. it won't be that good of a quality, it is amazing. I literally have to stock up on this brush. Um, yeah, so it's obviously meant to be for powder because of the flat, the flat um, design to it. But it's it's amazing for liquid foundation. If you use liquid foundation, I would definitely rec recommend this brush. It literally distributes the colour so well. It blends perfectly, almost flawlessly. Um, and I think it's probably like only three pound fifty or something. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this brush for foundation if you use liquid foundation. This is the alternative in the Sigma version. It's the flat top synthetic Kabuki brush. It's also quite densely packed as well. Also quite dirty. Um, this is also a good brush brush. For some reason, I really think this rivals this brush. It is just so amazing. It's a lot cheaper, obviously. Um, but if you have this, this is good for foundation. Good for powder as well, but I've never used it for powder. But yeah, for foundation, definitely for blending and for giving that sort of flawless look. And then this is the one that, other, that some people seem to use. This is just a basic foundation brush, but I just haven't quite gotten around to how to use this brush effectively. But this is also for liquid foundation as well. But I would go for the other two brushes I showed you previously. So now for blush, you have your large angled contour brush from Sigma as well, the F40. This is obviously for applying blush. Some people use, some people use it for that. Some people also use it to contour because obviously because of the shape it's like angled. But I find this is too big for contouring and too wide for my blush. So I don't use this brush for applying blush. But some people seem to do very well. It doesn't seem to work real well for me. So um, I don't use this brush. But the alternative would be the powder blush brush by Sigma. The fact that it's shaped like this it helps for application. You just basically tap the colour and place it onto your cheeks like that. It just basically applies it like that really well. Um, and it's not too dense, so it's not too wide, so it definitely would fit in the apples of your cheeks. An alternative in the e.l.f. brushes will be the blush brush, which looks like this. It's also quite similar, but it definitely also fits very well. It can also be used as a contour brush, but I, never, I don't use it for that. And um, this is also obviously the cheaper version if you wanted to get something like this. This is optional if you contour, um, like I do, or you know, if you don't normally contour, there are also brushes you can use as well. Like the one I showed you, obviously, this brush will be used for contouring, but I don't contour with that. There's the tapered highlighter brush because it's a lot, it's smaller, it's supposed to be the highlighter brush, but it is I use it for contour because it's pointed, as you can see, it just basically just fits into my cheekbones, and it's just so perfect and I can't do without this brush but obviously if you don't contour you won't need to use this brush so something that's quite tapered and pointed will definitely fit into the um, hollows of your cheeks as well so obviously if you're a lot more advanced with makeup and obviously know a lot more about brushes and techniques then there are a vast range of brushes as well to use as well but I'll probably talk about it once I do a review on the Sigma Premium Kit these have a lot more, um, a lot more interesting type brushes as well for people who are a lot more advanced with makeup. So, like I said, those are what I think are for, for essentials for beginners. And obviously, if you use any other things I haven't mentioned in this video, then go ahead and keep using it. Don't feel, don't feel like they're not supposed to be important or anything. But this is what I feel are the essential brushes to have. So I hope this is helpful to you if you're wondering about what you know you need to get or what what these brushes do. Like I said, they're very multifunctional, so you don't have to use one brush for just one um, for one thing. You can always you know switch it up and do it, use it for different for different um, for different tasks. For example, this brush, which is the um, E25 blending brush is the way as you see is shaped this can be used for applying eyeshadow so basically packing eyeshadow to lid this also can be used for blending this also can be used for 
contour in the nose. This can be used for highlighting. Um, even the bottom um, lash line as well so something like that so anyway I hope this was helpful and if you want me to do any more videos any more like makeup beginner type videos please let me know and I'll try and get onto it other than that thanks for watching and I'll speak to my next video bye guys